Bully it is scholarship edition on PC, if you didn't know, is very unstable. The game would crash every few minutes. Cutscenes would get an infinite loading loop. Graphical glitches happen, textures go missing, and so, so much more. Well, you are in luck, because this is the ultimate guide on how to make your game run great, look good, and most importantly, not break constantly. This is my system. I use the Steam version, play with an Xbox One controller and of course Windows 11. The game runs great at 1440p constant 60fps. Yours can too if you do what I show you. Let's begin! Alright, first of all you need version 1.2 of the game. If you're not using Steam, you may be playing on an older version, so once you install Bully, look into the bottom right hand corner of the screen. If it says 1.1, then you need to visit the first link in the description which will take you right here. Download the EXE in your language. Place the EXE in your game directory. Open it and wait for it to finish. Once it's done, launch your game and check your version. If it says 1.2, then you can continue. Visit the second link in the description, which will take you right here. It has been in beta for 3 years, but it runs just fine, so you can use it. Download the archive, open it up, grab everything from it and place it in your game directory. If you want the smoothest experience, you should set your frame rates to 60 FPS. To do that, simply open up the settings file called Silent Patch Bully. In here, change FPS limit from 30 to 60. Save and open up the game. If it runs at 60, then you did good. Good. Just a small note here, some missions like the snowball one in the winter unfortunately break at 60 FPS. If you're playing through the story and you encounter a mission which has issues, simply revert back the changes to 30, pass the mission and go back to 60 again. Visit the third link in the description and download the widescreen fix. This gives you a lot more control on how much you can see on the screen. After you download the archive, open it and place everything you see here in your game directory. Open up plugins and then this file. This is a very important setting which impacts how much stuff you see on the screen. For instance, having this at 1.0 gives you this camera angle, 1.2 gives you this one, and if you're an absolute maniac, choose 1.5 and play like the crazy person you are. Personally, I recommend 1.0 or 1.1, but it's your call. Alright, what I showed you so far will only fix your game and make it stable. You are fine playing just like this. However, there's something missing. If you want your game to look a bit better, then you need to install two more mods. The first one will fix the draw distance in the game and help you see textures from a greater distance. Visit the fourth link in the description, download this mod, open up the archive from the Buddhist Scholarship Edition folder, grab the objects folder and place it in your main directory. With this you can see much farther away and pop-in is less common. Ok then, but what about the icons? They are very low quality and the menus are as well. Time to visit the fifth link in the description which will take you to the Anniversary Edition HUD mod. Download it and open up the archive. Take the three folders from the Important Files folder and place them in your game directory. The rest are not important so you don't need to use them. And now your game icons look HD. Congratulations! As for the actual textures and colors of the game, yes you can improve them too, but that would be very complicated for a video like this one, so let me know if you want a video like that in the future, which actually overhauls the entire graphical engine. Here I showed you how you can fix your game and give it a close to vanilla look. Anyway, if I did help, please leave a like, and if you have issues, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and a very special thank you to Ola, Willy, Canyon, Case Knights, Munish Pradeep, Sepp Levy, Epic Elev, Shinte, Max Rich, Clint McCurley, Gepsemane, Jacob Madley, Max Robinson, Jim Francescos, and everybody else.